Hey you guys, welcome back to your reading. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you're all doing well. All right, let's get into your reading. Please be mindful. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. And personal readings, you can book them. Now they are available for beginning in September. So if you want to get a personal reading with me, go on over to my booking site and you can start booking that now. Okay. All right, Virgo. Hope you're all doing well. Like I said, let's get into this reading. Hi, everyone in the chat. All right, let's see. What are the messages? What does Virgo need to know? Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What does Virgo need to know? What are the messages for Virgo? Okay. Soulmates. Wow. Soul connection. Partnership. Agreement. Soul contract. Very nice. Okay. You have a soulmate showing up here. Let's see. Twin flames. <laughs> what the... Oh my goodness. Okay. Yin yang, Zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complementing each other. Some of you are questioning is this person my soul or is it a twin flame? Oh my goodness. Okay. That's conflicting, you know, because twin flames are struggle growth inducing relationships and soulmates are people who are just you know in agreement with each other it's a very easy kind of connection let's see you know they're just telling me this is two separate things here okay let's look at this soulmates what is this soulmate thing okay lightning sudden change shocking news surprise epiphany upheaval and transformation and what is going on with this twin flame thing The butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase healing the inner child and growth oh my goodness okay you guys i gotta tell you i am picking up two different energies here um i feel like you've got a soulmate connection that's going through a sudden transformational kind of change but you also have a twin flame thing here that is shifting as well okay so oh my goodness stuff is just flying out here all right so there is going to be first of all some of you are giving up a soulmate um i feel like there's somebody in your life or a connection with someone that you're attracted like a moth to to a flame with to a twin flame okay this twin flame person is like someone that you cannot seem to forget and you know what you guys i also feel in the course of this being a love reading this is what's happening your person who is your twin flame that's a very difficult connection they have someone in their life that is there's a connection with that person that pales in comparison to yours okay um the person that they have in their life there is there is an energy of soulmate they, they're on the same page with a lot of stuff but with the five of pentacles i feel like there's a lot of hardship in other words like it doesn't move this person whomever they're connecting with you know externally you know friends family um someone maybe uh someone that they're dating or that they're connected to maybe they're even married to them if you know there's just this lightning is like this power moment where this person's like whoever they th think is their soulmate or that easier relationship or whoever they're connecting with if you know that they are um or even if you have a hunch this person's not doing it for them and this is what this like wake up call is this like epiphany you know i i feel like your person your twin flame and i feel like this is going to be a twin flame reading really your twin flame looks at the person that they're connecting with or the people and it's like drab it's like 
dry crackers. It, it doesn't, it's not stimulating their senses. It's, it, it, the connection is just, there's a struggle with this connection. And, and understand that just because it's a soulmate relationship doesn't mean there isn't going to be ups and downs. There will, but it won't have the intensity that a twin flame connection does yours yours with this person your person idolizes you okay like they cannot stop thinking about you they can't get you out of their mind um there might even be like a message or a gift um for some of you for a birthday of some sort but there's a struggle too with this connection however this twin flame connection i feel like the relationship is going to evolve to the next phase there's an healing the inner child and growth okay so whoever your person like there's one twin flame for them and it's you and whoever they've been you know a lot of times when twin flame relationships aren't going well then there's always this well you know date other people maybe find a more easier connection and you know while your person is connecting with other people it's like just not satisfying to them and I feel like your person feels alone or just not really like it's oh gosh I don't know if they're like extremely passionate we have Taurus and then there's Virgo here so maybe you're connecting with a Taurus or another Virgo um, there's just a lot of struggle with whomever your your person is connecting with and I feel like it's coming to an end they're leaving them out in the cold it's like no or maybe it's just better we just be friends or maybe just you know uh, they have a good connection soul connection maybe they communicate and they talk about things and there's an understanding um, on very surface level things and they, it's easy to be with them but whoever they are connected with outside of you is just not bringing them to their knees you bring this person to their knees okay this twin flame and so much so that triggers so much inner child stuff and healing and I feel like there's going to be some type of communication and if there isn't you know some of you might get a birthday message um this feels like a solid new beginning there's a lot of um this person setting some goals here for this connection let's take a look and see taking advantage of the opportunity jumping in i feel like you guys this person's gonna try to make some kind of um investment with you because why i feel like they're healing they're going through a healing phase they may have had to get into a connection or a relationship with someone else in order to understand what the connection was with you no matter how difficult it might have been this person has a very strong passion for you okay so let me see let me get a little more information yeah look okay knight of pentacles so there's definitely a persistent energy with this person to finish what was started with you okay this twin flame connection going through a lot of changes here yeah there, there's definitely some type of an offer maybe a gift or communication or a message and we have a lot of earth energy here so it can be for a birthday and that's how it starts and but the reason behind it the motivating factor is this person is coming to terms you know with the fact that i mean yeah they we all have like a bunch of soulmates out there in the world but we only have that one twin flame and and this person i just they're very slow to to progress but they progress they're very patient tremendously loyal to you and they also feel responsible for um, some of the things that or the reasons why things were very difficult between you okay they have an element of feeling somewhat like oh okay well it wasn't all Virgo it you know there was things within me that prevented me from moving forward that inner child healing there's definitely growth and I see a new phase starting here um, beginning from the time you're listening to this reading going into Virgo season okay so here we have leo maybe some of you are on the cusp of leo virgo we have capricorn taurus <laughs> virgo um 
this person's going to fight. And they're going to fight for the connection. And it, 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 I feel like they needed to get into some other kind of relationship with someone in order to see, you know, there's nothing, it's cold. There's nothing, there was nothing there with someone else. Okay, nothing. There's no, where's the passion? Yeah, look at that. And the hermit. And it was just very cold and they did a lot of reflection and introspection and a lot of contemplating while being with this other person okay but there was a lot of like hermit mode it's just there's nothing here look at the difference there's just nothing here with someone who was a soulmate or a friend or when they were with you they are when your person was with somebody else Okay, maybe it was another Virgo. When they were with this other person, all they kept thinking about was you. The, your person might have gone with another person because they felt left out in the cold. Maybe because something wasn't working out and you guys ended it or you went your separate ways and then they connected with somebody else. Who I feel like they may have had kind of a good connection, but also this person with that tower moment, I feel like whoever they were connecting with was um, kind of like a sensation seeking or, sh or just destructive in a lot of ways. A lot like it just, you know, it just not for them. I'm hearing that it, they did, whoever they were connecting with really didn't wet their palate. And I think you are the one that wets their palate. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. It's amazing how the cards just speak. So nine of wands energy. So it's just an ongoing battle with whoever they were with. Your person just completely got drained of all energy. I feel like they held on and tried to make the best of a situation that they knew wasn't for them, but they did because they didn't know how to solve the situation with you. But what they needed to solve was what was going on within themselves. Um, they didn't need to fix you. They didn't need to fix this other person. They needed to heal self okay you two have been meant for each other since day one here so maybe they were connected with the sagittarius uh, the external to you you know it, it just feels like um they've learned they've definitely learned um they they might have been beaten up or you know just battle weary from being in the connection they may have gone to that person because they were broke busted and disgusted and they didn't know what else to do but here they are with you three of pentacles energy teamwork commitment building on this coming together being determined okay dedicated you you and they had a very quality relationship it was just something about the connection where it, there was so much um I don't know. I don't know how to articulate this and the words they're trying to give me. It's like powerful. So like just so powerful. There's a yin yang energy. So it's very opposites attract, but yet complemented each other. Okay. So there's a, there's tremendous growth here. All right. And we're getting so much earth. So your person might have earth somewhere like very heavy earth in their chart, whatever their sun sign might be. It's irrelevant. I'm just feeling like very they're very grounded now and seeing things differently here. Look at that the tower. See, they've given themselves their own tower moment here. Okay, they have destroyed, like I said, that inner child healing and just being done with it. This person in your connection with them was operating out of this wounded child energy. Okay. This tower moment happening here with this person is like revelation. And I feel like they're getting the revelation themselves. Whoever they were with before was giving them constant chaos and revelations as well about themselves. I feel like whatever was going on with you, whatever your complaints or whatever problems you were feeling or dealing with in that twin flame connection the other person they were with was dealing with it too so the things that you might have said to them somebody else was also saying to them and it was like oh light bulb moment hold on tower lightning light bulb moment and this person's like oh my gosh it wasn't virgo it was me 
And that's a hard, you know, kudos to this person for being able to self-reflect because it's, you know, we can all self-reflect and be like, oh, well, I love this about me, I love that. But when we have to self-reflect and accept our flaws and say to ourselves, you know, maybe I contributed to some of the reason why the struggle, but it wasn't necessarily contributed on purpose. It was a necessary transition. It was, or things that happen in the connection needed to happen in order to induce growth. And it wasn't just in them, in you as well. Okay. Um, so yeah, I feel like the person that they were connecting with, maybe they thought was their soulmate. They thought that this would be easier, be better, start fresh, have a new start with someone. It turns out that they were getting the same thing again. And something magical happened to them. I feel like an absence. And they began to think about you more and start missing you. And here they come you know, with this change and this growth and like, oh, I can, I want to do better. I can do better. I can be better. I, if I'm going to be better for anybody, it's not going to be this other person. It's going to be Virgo because you are the one that sets their soul on fire. Okay. And you always have, but it's been a challenge. It's been a challenge. Let's see what's, how does this, how does your twin flame, like, how are they going to be feeling about you? Like, what's going on with them? How are they feeling their emotions towards you? Wow. Three of cups, very joyous energy. There's definitely going to be a reunion or um, getting together, a party, uh, socializing, a gathering. That This person, like, they indulge, their emotional indulgence towards you is, is deep, okay? Um, this is like a celebrate, this is like a birthday thing. There's a birthday thing coming through here, you know, starting in August, the end of August, starting on the 23rd, going all the way to the end of September. So whenever your birthday energy, there's a twin flame returning here. Okay. King of Pentacles. So this person feels like you are very mature, grounded, you're kind, you're always bettering yourself, um, you build your empire, you know, very sensual type of person. You're a good provider. Um, they see you as very enterprising. You're um, very secure. Maybe, maybe they didn't see that before, but they're seeing it now. A very stable type of a person, you know, um, good head on your shoulders. This person sees you're very successful. Okay. Maybe you're wealthy, but you're, you're very attached to your, your strength and your physical self. Okay. But they also, you know, with that three of cups, they also view you as like a good friend uh, that you've always been a good friend to them. You've always been supportive of them in one way or another. And I feel like this person, they keep running away from the twin flame connection and connecting with other people who they think isn't going to um, know them as well as you have. And yet, I don't know, other, it seems like either other people in their periphery or someone else in particular are just like not doing it for them and telling them, you know, things like maybe that some they're telling them that they're abusive or they are you know underhanded or sneaky or deceptive and I mean they lack the communication skills that's needed you know this person's having a huge huge kind of wake-up thing going on how else does this twin flame Virgo's twin flame feel about them huh okay they think you're very intuitive definitely they dream about you. You're in their dreams. Um, sometimes they think you're kind of vague. Um, sometimes they think you wax and wane between stability and instability. But I feel like maybe that's because of the dynamic of the relationship. I don't think by yourself you're like that. Um, and they, they know you have some anxieties and fear. But they, these are all things. These are human things. Okay, and these are things that they love about you, you know, that you have big dreams that sometimes you're feeling emotional or maybe hormonal or sometimes you are, you misconstrue things and sometimes you're fear based, you know, like 
they're seeing the full picture about you. It's it's not just all the positive things, but they're also seeing like the insecurities, you know, um, uh, the human things about you, which I don't know. It's just that they love those things. Those are necessary things. Um, that they these are these are your your weaknesses that they love as well as your strengths. And when you're showing your weaknesses, that tells them that you are human and that you oh look, I just heard baby, you're a star. Okay, so this person also sees that you're very creative. They love your creativity, um, and that you are you have a spiritual healing way about you. Um, they see a lot like you're a faithful person. Um, okay, and also that you always have new ideas, and you have very strong intellectual ability. Like you're very creative intellectually, and and very clear. Okay, you have breakthroughs, you're a good communicator, that you see the truth, and you're a visionary. And these are just, I mean, these are all very basic things that I think are, you know, very positive. They were just telling me to go into, um, I'm not going to pull those cards, though, because... I don't really think that it would be appropriate for the channel. So I'll skip that right now. But I will tell you as far as like the physical um, with the lovers here. I mean, this person, if you two had a physical connection at one time in the past, I mean, they are still thinking about that, that they still think about your body. They still think about the way you look, the way you smell, the way you tasted, all of these things. I mean, it's just everything about you to this person it just moves them it, 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 there's just a certain there's just something about the way you are and how you present yourself and who you are and what you show and um things that even the mysteries the things that you didn't show about yourself they're just so drawn to you so attracted to you Okay, and that lovers is my that's my twin flame card always. Okay, romantic, they have sexual desire towards you. I think they see that you guys do you come very close to having very shared values. Um, so that could mean a lot of different things the belief systems, moral systems, political beliefs you know, you name it, the whole thing. Okay, and this person is they are just in love with you, they are just and they always have been, but the love scared them. What was their what was their childhood wounding? What was their issues with this childhood wounding? Well, there's our child card. Okay. So I feel like this person, when they were younger, they had a very positive, free, fun, optimistic temperament about them. They were very enthusiastic, happy. Maybe that you were connecting with a Leo. Um, very open to things in life. Yep, here's our childhood card. Okay. Um, very innocent. The, the youthfulness about them. But what was the struggle? Okay. This person, their basic temperament is they're very kind. They have goodwill towards others. A very simple, simplistic type of a way about them. Um, hmm. Something with the parents... Um, they longed for the sincerity and love and appreciation from parents. They needed that. That That is something that it feels, they're giving me the word thrive. This person, it was something that was very valuable to them to have this connection. But here, okay, they had a lot of fear they, I feel like there was something in their childhood um, with parents. Um, maybe they were pushed away from their parents when they were younger, um, whether that's physically or emotionally in some way. A lot of fear and anxiety crept in. Okay, a lot of regret, remorse, sadness. This person, gosh, stuff happened in their childhood that they've carried around these wounds for so long. And always on this adventure to try to find someone that would appreciate and love them and help them cope with life and give them all the things you know that um 
heal their heartbreak you know there's a bereavement maybe they lost parents or a parent um, or something along those lines they had a lot of anxiety and loss that just flipped okay because in the very beginning this person was having all that love and that attention and everything and then everything just flipped and then they experienced extreme fear and loss in their life okay and that has stuck with them and then when they met you your relationship that twin flame connection triggered all of that all of that anxiety and loss it triggered that stuff it triggered good things too but they could not exist they didn't know how to cope with that anxiety and loss they only wanted things to just remain positive 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 all the time it's very unrealistic because we're human we have problems in life you know we work through things that's the human thing so they would run to others um and then they would just be like a pinball bouncing in and out of all these relationships because people reflect back to us who we are what we show them you know people will give what they get you know but you you were reflecting things back to them but you were also being very supportive and loving as well and this is what they're coming to realize here and that you you know this is where the growth the growth is happening while you're apart now i want to see there's going to be a message possibly a gift um coming from this person okay i was going to ask what was going to ha happen going forward so the chariot energy this is cancer we have scorpio gemini um so yeah overcoming these obstacles i feel like this person um is very focused on you and will be and september 7th i'm hearing will be a significant day um yeah i feel like there's going to be some kind of travel or trip or movement forward oh <gasps> yep the empress wow for a new beginning here this person views you in that empress energy or they're coming forward in that leveled up empress energy okay um nurturing creative um they see you as very very feminine you're in your very feminine energy which is the yin this person might be more yang and you might be more yin which would be a virgo tree yin is a bit more passive and um quiet kind of energy where yang is a bit more aggressive and bold okay so um i feel like they're coming in in this yang energy here coming after you okay they want to have a new beginning they want to either maybe have children or have you be a parent to um have child with you and um have that connection with you they view you as very sensual so yeah there's going to be a new beginning new start okay here's the world okay making this decision to come forward um this is actually happening now on the 21st these wake-up calls this like tower moment this epiphany is happening to them right now as i'm making this reading um starting on the 21st here okay they f this person feels like their sense of belonging is with you and there's definitely a travel happening here so if you're at a distance they're coming to see you um, they might be around your way um, they might also be offering to take you out to dinner or for coffee or to meet up for lunch or something for a birthday okay this person i feel like there's going to be some kind of communication um, they may apologize to you about ghosting if there was any ghosting or for leaving um and for going silent um are they going to tell you about another person let me just find out hmm. they will they'll probably tell you there was somebody else and they realized that they made a mistake yeah okay um that they rushed they, they they were impulsive and just at because something ended here with you 
and they they just rushed into something else and that's backfired on them um so i do feel like they're going to tell you that they're going to say they didn't know what to think they didn't know if you were even around or if you if there was even any opportunities to try to fix things or they weren't ready and they went into like some kind of healing mode and they were living in fantasy land but at the same time they couldn't stop they were still dreaming about you okay that's really strong message here that they would see you in their dreams, but then they couldn't find you. And I feel like I made it just my last video was about the dream state as well. Okay, here you go. They've got the foresight now here. They can see forward. Um, this person, I'm, I want to make plans. Um, I'm happy with my decision that I want to be with you. I don't know. Let's look at you here, Virgo. You Queen of Pentacles sitting here. Okay. Let's see. What are you going to do? Yeah, you're kind of like, hmm. I mean, you definitely still have this person held close to your heart. You you haven't been letting anybody else in. Not not to the depth of the way you were with this person, but um uh, you're still a little bit blocked here because there's kind of this uh, are they really going to change or has there really been a, an epiphany okay we have the king of wands here um so you could be blocking a king of wands sagittarius aries or leo okay because you might view this person coming in with that king of wands energy like i said very yang uh energetic optimistic tremendously confident now charming having a way with words being fearless and it's kind of like who are you um something is just shift major shift happening here with this person and it's all because of whoever they were connecting with external to you while you guys were apart i feel like maybe somebody was very abusive or just treated them really badly and they walked away or they just said that's i can't with this and i miss virgo and i want to be with virgo and they are very confident about this and you're just kind of like i don't know that you're gonna you might I don't know that you're going to block this person. You might have them blocked, so you may not even know they're going to try to come in. And if you want them to come in, if you want this change to happen, think about um, unblocking this person if you want to talk to them. Um, but if you're not, you don't want to talk to them, then, I mean, I, what's the point of even listening to the reading, right? <laughs> what's the point? But if you do want to, you know, listen, Virgo, you don't ha I mean if somebody's like I have to say if somebody's like stalking you like harassing you then yeah of course that that's why you would block right and that's why you would just kind of just keep that person you know lock up your doors and windows you know you don't want somebody put the, pull the curtains draw the shades if somebody's like harassing you and things like that but if that's not happening and you're just blocking this person um for yourself because you're trying to get in some healing time that's fine um that's you it's not necessarily i mean blocking someone isn't going to i think when you when you're self-disciplined and you know like you know what i'm just i'm not gonna just i'm gonna redirect my energy back to myself but blocking social media it's like it's not even it, it's kind of like in the old days when you break up with somebody <laughs> you, you exchange you give your keys back you know you give them back their records and all that stuff but there's no way to really block anybody in real life unless they were harassing you so <laughs> you just went on with your life right so if you are you know open to talking to this person this is your twin flame this is the person that you love you, you you know or you're open to hearing what they have to say but not doing anything about it then and you have them blocked then yeah unblock okay um get in touch with how you feel get in touch with your emotions okay um page of cups energy so there's definitely an apology coming here but then again also i said there's a birthday message of some sort okay this this is like get in touch with your very your psychic side here you know um 
you have even though you're a virgo you have that water energy about you okay and they're giving me libra and pisces but you have this very strong intuition you're very loving sensitive um deep emotional feelings you're a very loyal faithful person you could be shy maybe sometimes easily wounded um but you're very beautiful handsome pretty um a little bit of a daydreamer but definitely psychic i feel like you, you get in touch with that emotional side that love side here knight of cups page of cups queen of cups um try not to um block your heart too much okay um get in touch with who you are what you want i don't i feel like some of you uh, it's a 50 50 some of you are going to block this and not even be open to it and others of you are going to open yourself up to it and what's going to come forward okay it could be a water sign for some of you is this love offer this birthday wish this gift this um you know um I want to say very emotional messages okay from somebody here and uh, a romantic proposal from this person okay and as soon as you accept there this person could be on their way they're gonna seize the day seize the moment yep to come towards you i feel like this person wants to they've gone through their changes you know everybody we always think oh okay well twin flame separation is a we're separated forever that's not always the case and it's not always your reading but i do feel like there's an energy here of two people who are going to be back on that journey because there's been time away you've had your lessons and this person went out the door and faced themselves and somebody else and it was like if everybody is saying it then it must not be they don't all know each other so it must be me and i feel like that's kind of what this wake up call i didn't tend for this to be a twin flame reading but it looks like it's going that direction so i'm just going to leave that there because i went a little over longer than and i'll be back soon with the charms and all that so yep keep your eyes peeled happy birthday virgo we're going into virgo season so i will see you guys tomorrow take care <laughs>